Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Help for HD TV. My name is London Tabor and in today's episode I'll be sharing with you some show highlights from Help for HD Live. Help for HD Live is our podcast. It comes out every Thursday and is hosted by Lauren Holder. To listen to full episodes of Help for HD Live, then visit our website at www.helpforhd.org. You can also listen on Blog Talk Radio, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, without further ado, let's get into the first show highlights video. In this video, we have Dr. Ed Wild on talking about HD clarity. Welcome to Help for HD Live show highlights, made possible through an education grant from Teva Pharmaceuticals. I'm your host, Lauren Holder, and today I have Dr. Ed Wild on with me. So what is HD clarity? <clears throat> HD clarity is, well, it's the biggest study that collects cerebrospinal fluid in Huntington's disease. Why do we do that? Well, the CSF is a fluid that is produced inside the brain and it kind of surrounds the brain and supports the brain. Your brain basically floats like a big fish in a tank, which is your skull. And instead of water, the, the, the fluid is cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid contains chemicals that come from the brain. And so if we look at the chemical composition of the CSF, uh, it gives us a much better idea of what's actually happening chemically and biologically inside the brain. And my research has long been interested in what are called biomarkers, um, which is basically tests that we can perform, things that we can measure that give us an idea of what's happening to a disease. And obviously in my case, Huntington's disease. The short answer is it's a, it's a CSF collection study at um, many different clinical sites in many different countries uh, that's been running for four years now. Almost anyone from the HD is uh, welcome to take part. Um, we are interested in collecting CSF from control participants, pre-manifest people, people with so-called manifest HD, so across the HD spectrum. Um, and uh, it involves a screening visit and a sampling visit. Um, and then um, you'd be invited, people are invited to come back uh, around a year later and again um, so that we can see how the uh, see how things change over time hd clarity is an observational study uh, enroll hd is another good example of an observational study so these are basically studies that exist to help us to understand the disease um, and you know to collect data and information and to study the biology of Huntington's disease. And, to, and, and that information helps us to develop drugs, but there are no experimental drugs given in observational studies. The fluid is collected by a spinal tap or lumbar puncture, which is a needle in the spine through which the fluid is collected, which sounds like an intervention, right? That's, it's not a normal Tuesday morning. That's, <laughs> that's definitely, uh, that sounds invasive and, in, and interventional, but it's not classified as an intervention because you're not giving a therapy. You're not giving a, an experimental treatment. I definitely want to encourage people to get involved, especially if you don't qualify for a clinical trial right now. Um, we still need to move forward. And the only way we can move forward is if we are participating in research. Thank you again, Dr. Wild. Thank you, Lauren. And until next time, take care and sending you all lots of love. In our next show highlights video, we have Lisa Mimo from Alliance RX Walgreens Prime and Brian Bloom from Taylor Med talking about their new partnership. Today, I'm very excited to have Lisa Mimo, the VP of Pharma and Financial Services at Alliance RX Walgreens Prime and Brian Bloom, who's the director at Taylor Med. We're going to be discussing this new partnership between Alliance RX Walgreens Prime and Taylor Med and how it will benefit those of us who receive medication through a specialty pharmacy. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Great to be here. Can you guys start off with what your organizations do? Alliance RX Walgreens Prime is one of the nation's largest home delivery and specialty pharmacies. We offer prescription services for patients um, with rare diseases and chronic conditions. Our mission is really to provide hope and care for better tomorrows. Brian? Thanks, Lisa. Yep, so TaylorMed's main goal is to remove financial barriers to patient care. So what TaylorMed does is we have a proprietary technology that helps to automate a lot of the processes with regards to financial navigation. Can you explain what specialty medications and what a specialty pharmacy are? 
So specialty medications are used to treat chronic or complex or rare conditions. What makes a specialty medication unique is they definitely cost more than traditional medications. They can be oral, they can be injected, um, they can be infused. Alliance Rx Walgreens Prime is a specialty in a home delivery pharmacy. So we offer prescription services for patients with rare diseases like Huntington's disease. We partner with organizations like TaylorMed to help give our teams the tools and the resources to connect the patients with rare diseases, including Huntington's disease, with the appropriate resources to help eliminate any of those financial barriers to access to the medication. What really stands out about Lisa and her team at Alliance RX Walgreens Prime is they really go above and beyond in investing resources for their patients to help remove financial barriers to care. What we hope to do and are engaging with Alliance RX Walgreens Prime about at TaylorMed is to provide automated solutions to help Alliance RX patients with the latest resources and availability of financial assistance in real time. We're here to help minimize or remove those barriers so that patients can access these drugs that they need to help treat their symptoms and improve their quality of life. And thank you so much, and thank you guys for joining me on the show today. Please make sure to tune in for October and take care. In our last show highlights video, we have Sophie Sincere on to talk about heart disease and how it relates to Huntington's disease. Thank you so much for tuning in to Help for HD Live. And today we've got Sophie St. Cyr on. She's going to be talking with us about the heart and Huntington. Sophie, thank you so much for joining me today. In your bio, you mentioned that heart disease is the second cause of mortality from HD. Can you go into this a little bit for the community? And, and... Yeah, so for uh, people that were affected by uh, HD and what they found is the most recent study what they were able to show was that there was kind of a slower heart rate in these uh, early symptomatic patients and maybe a conduction problem. So the way that the electricity, uh, the electric current travels through the heart is a little bit slower than what they, they see um, uh, normally and it predisposes people to arrhythmia so that the rate the, of the heartbeat is a bit disrupted sometimes. They also found that there was a smaller heart size as objects see this has been observed both in men and women. And that's what we know from the patient side of things. Well, that, that is fascinating. One of the reasons it's so fascinating for me, uh, my father just passed away in January from Huntington's, and I never thought about his heart disease part being part of that, but he did have heart disease, uh, very significant heart disease. And, um, and so I never would have thought about that contributing or being a part of HD. This is all very interesting to me. You know, and, and your research is ongoing right now. I know that you had mentioned that um, probably in about eight to 10 months, we can come back and actually explore the data that you have from your research. Um, but in the meantime, is there anything that people who are, um, who are maybe early onset HD or pre-symptomatic should do, or even symptomatic, should do in regards to their heart as we, you know, as this is being researched? Um, so I am not a, a, a clinician. Um, I would I would think that it's a good thing to, to just have it in mind, talk about it. If you're, you're feeling, um, feeling of symptoms or, you know, talk about it with uh, proper clinicians, um, it's good to um, get the attention on this, but uh, at least know that we're, we're studying it and we're, being interested in it, for sure. Yeah, well, thank you for breaking that down. Um, um, and I really appreciate you coming on uh, today and just talking to us about the heart. So thank you again for coming on. Thank you guys for listening today. Make sure that you tune in for our next show. And I hope everybody takes care. Thanks for tuning in today for another episode of Help for HD TV. If you'd like to see more highlight videos just like this, then follow us on TikTok at help for hd And that's all for today. So make sure and like this video, subscribe to the channel below, and ring the bell for notifications when more videos like this come out. Until next time.